connect our domain to to Karcher and then and then we'll do it on on the Facebook site. Actually, you know what? Open up one more tab. Let's go to GoDaddy. We need to log into GoDaddy as well. Okay. So you're gonna click on DNS. Do you we'll, oh there? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll leave it right Got there it. for a second. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Right. So now again, we'll start with the Karcher side and then we'll go to the Facebook side. Um, and then we'll and then we'll go from there. Perfect. Okay. So we'll leave it right here and let's just go back to Karcher. Okay. okay, so now we're going to click on the profile picture in the top right, that little silhouette there. Yeah, we'll click on that one, and okay. then we'll come down. Yep, and then we'll come down to custom domains. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to click on the green square. We're going to hit the plus sign to the right. On the one, I'm sorry, you broke up. And the, for a the green second. Oh. plus okay. yeah, domain yeah. right there. Okay, so now we're going to only the main domain. We're going to add only the main domain. So click on that and then go ahead and type in your domain there. So now all your pages will be connected to that domain. Um, and then just click on next. Okay, let me tell you that this domain is also pointed to my, my company website. Okay, so it has to be one or the other, and I just think pointing it to your customer or to your company website is pointless. Yeah, no, I rather. So, but can we do that? Can we change it to point to this? Yeah, it's gonna go to it's gonna go to this. It's gonna go to this. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So now what we're gonna do on number two, it says point your CNAME record to Kartra. So all we're gonna do is copy that URL that that Chris right there, the bold dot Kartra dot com. Mm -hmm. Copy that. Yeah everything other than the period right there. Yep, perfect. So we're gonna copy that and then okay. we're gonna bring it to GoDaddy. So let's open up, let's go back to GoDaddy and we're gonna simply um, come down to the C name record right there. And the this value, one? we're gonna hit the edit to the very, very right. That- um, This pencil, one? No, up. The next one. Oh, up. Uh, yeah, hit cancel yeah. on this one. Do the, the one abo above, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the points too. So that at sign, See, the other domain company, they wanted to know the point to, right? Or do they want, they wanted to know points to, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, points to is the, is the Kartra link. So, yeah, if, so, so we... take away the at sign and then just paste in your Kartra link. That is the points to. Okay. So that's all they needed to know. And they could have done it. I don't know why they made it hard for you, but hit I don't know why either. Okay. And I, I basically asked, can you tell me how? You know, so that I can go back to that page and fill in what you actually want. Mm -hmm. But of course, they had to do it for me. Yeah. So should no I hit save? hit save? Hit save. Yes. And then okay. what we're going to do is we're going to now go back down. We're going to go back to Kartra and we're going to go to number three. So number three, it says redirect austinsboutiquerealtor.com oh. to www. So go ahead and copy the www.austinsboutiquerealtor. Yep. Copy that. And then, and then just, yeah, and then copy that. And then now bring it to, and see, you always want to make sure when you're copying, always make sure you don't go over. So for example, yeah, I know. Yeah, you went over. I know. Because it's going to bring over an extra spot. Perfect. Okay. So copy that. And then now let's go back to GoDaddy. And we're going to scroll the very, very bottom of GoDaddy. Go back to what? I'm sorry, I, you broke up. To GoDaddy. Again. To GoDaddy. Go back to GoDaddy. And then to the very, very bottom, we're going to, we're going to write to the 40. So we're going to change that Chris, my agent, we're going to hit that edit to the right. And we're going to paste in yours. So your your new one right there, let's take out that and then just paste in the new one. Okay. And then we're going to hit the drop down to the left. What's that? I do you believe I set this one all up myself. I do. I do. I do believe it. Hit that HTTP and just hit the drop down and go to the S. So hit that and choose the S one. Perfect. Okay. So now scroll to the very bottom and we're going to save it. So let's save this. Okay, good. We're good here. So now let's do this. Let's refresh this page. Let's just give it a fresh reset. So just go ahead and refresh it right there. And then now let's go to Kartra and let's uh, finalize that one. So... Okay. Now we're going to simply come to the very, very bottom and click on yes. 
and then we're going to hit next. Perfect. Okay, so now this air page right here, this yeah. index and the 404 air page, this is this is mainly if that domain doesn't doesn't renew. So for example, every 12 months you renew that domain. If for some right. reason you don't renew it and you're like, oh, I'm over it, don't want that domain anymore, then and, and let's say you have that domain out in the general public and people can still click on it and go to it. This is uh -huh. just a redirection. So if that okay. domain expires, where do you want that click to go? And so in this case, what I do is I just send them to my seller guy page. So send them to the to the cart to the opt-in page. So hit the site, hit the select site, hit that drop down, and then go to no site in particular. You're, you're gonna do the same for both of them for the index and for the air page. So hit that one and just go to the opt-in. So we'll scroll down and go to opt-in. Go to what? The seller guide opt-in. Oh. And then do the same for the top one. To the left, hit the site first, select oh. site. This one, right? No, oh, to the, um, to the left, okay. yeah. So no site, you got to always do that one, no site in particular, and then um, opt-in. Okay, cool. So hit next, and then we're good. So now it's going to say that we're it's going to be completed within a day, but it literally takes a few minutes. So just hit close, okay. hit close, and then, and then we'll come back to this. So now okay. here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to Facebook, and we're going to integrate the domain with Facebook as well. And this is new. Facebook never, never, never needed to know your domain. Um, wow. Now they do. All of a sudden, in the last few days, all of a sudden they want to know it now. So um, now we're over here in the business settings, and we always mm -hmm. want to make sure we're in the correct account, which is Austin's Boutique Realtor to the left, top mm -hmm. left. So now just yeah. scroll down, and we're going to click on Brand Safety. So Brand Safety. And then you're going to click on Domains. Okay. Perfect. So over here, we're going to click on add and we're going to add the, the, the domain, everything except for the WWW. So oh, yeah, just yeah. Austin's. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Add. And then what we're going to do is we're going to refresh this page. And once we refresh it, Facebook's going to give us some instructions for GoDaddy. okay cool so here is what we got to do step one step two step three and then and then we'll be good so now we're logged in we're logged into godaddy so now all we got to do is hover over that link facebook dash domain copy that so it says here in number two we're going to add this to a text record and then the and then and then add the at sign in the host okay so now let's go to godaddy I'm confused. So okay. now we're going to scroll down to, we're going to click on add right there. Add. This one? To the right, add. We're going to- Oh, click, add. Yeah, add. Okay. So now hit the drop down and we're looking for TXT. So we'll hit that TXT. And then the, the host is going to be the at sign. Oh. Okay. And then the TXT value is going to be what you copied. So just paste that in there. Okay. So now hit save. Wow. I never would have known what to Perfect. do with it. And we're good. So now let's refresh this page. And then we'll go back over to um, Facebook. And then we're going to simply um, hit the green button, verify. Okay, we did not find any DNS entries. For, okay, so let's just give it a give it a couple minutes. Uh, wait until your DNS configuration changes have spread across your website's domain. Um, okay, so click verify again. Click verify again. Perfect. We're oh, good. Yeah. See, so okay. that's why that's why sometimes you gotta that's why all the times you gotta refresh it. That's why I always have you refresh the yeah. the go down side, refresh this side. Yeah. I'm right. glad you have to do that to remind me to do it when I'm doing something too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So now, now we're good with integrating the domain into into Karcher and to Facebook, um, and yeah. we'll go back to Karcher to refresh that, 
um, because we're not fully done just yet with Kartra. Um, yeah, try refreshing it now. It, it may still take a few minutes, but it might it might update right away. Yeah, give it a, give it a couple more minutes, and that processing okay. would would go to it'll stay connected. So now let's go back to the ads manager real quick. There there's another step we have to do for the domain. Oh, so, ads manager. Did I leave business settings open or not? Click on business settings. Click on that tab, okay. business settings. We're gonna go back to there to there. Okay, so now here's step two of this new settings of Facebook. Now, refresh this page here. Once we put the, um, once we connect that domain to Kartra, then this red, actually it already went green. It already went green because it's now integrated, mm -hmm. but we still have to finalize it with Kartra. But in the meantime, what we have to do over here, step two of adding the domain to Facebook, we have to now click on, click on the, the, um, the dots in the top, at the top left there, the dots, click on that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to, now we set up our custom conversions, right? Let's, let's go to, actually, you know what? We may not have done that yet. Click on, um, click on events manager at the top events manager or there at the bottom, either one, um, yeah. events manager. We may not have, have, have set up our custom conversions just yet. And if not, then we can easily do it right now. But let me let me double check. Yeah, I don't think we have. Let's click on or hover over the blue triangle to the left, and then click on custom conversions. My gosh, I would never find this. Yeah. And and that's why. I, okay, should I should I close this? Yeah, you can close it. Okay, so now custom conversions. Okay, so we haven't set any, any up yet, and that's that's good. Now, have we added our pixel onto all the pages of Kartra? I, I'm not sure. We may I not have even done that yet. A little bit with pixels, but then you said you had to do this other thing with the domain. I don't okay, know so then we haven't even done the pixels yet. Let's do that. I don't want to go too fast, too 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 fast yet. We'll get back to the custom conversion and um, and finalizing the actual domain. Um, because those domains are, are that domain is in Facebook, it, it needs to connect to the to the custom conversion. So, but let's do this first. Let's go back to click the dots to the left. And let's go to business settings. And let's just make sure we have our pixel. Because I'm pretty sure we at least set it up. I know up. we have the pixel. I remember we yeah. have the pixel. We just haven't haven't put it on anything on anything just yet. So scroll down to the to the scroll down and let's go to data sources and we're going to click on pixels. Okay, so we have the pixel. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and add yourself. Click on add people. You got to always add yourself to the pixel as well. Your personal mm -hmm. name. Uh, Austin's boutique they're added, but you want to add yourself as well. So Christine Just and then go to that. Yep, and then yeah. go to manage pixel. Click shade that gray to blue. Right there, perfect, and assign. Always, always do that on the on the pixel. Okay, cool. So now we hit done. Now we have our pixel. So if we go to and and your pixel is always going to be in your events manager. So go ahead and click right there, the top the top right. We can either go there, top right, or or to the left, the dots. But that's fine. Okay. Click on that right there, and that's going to bring us back over here to where we clicked on the blue triangle. So we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna grab our pixel over here. And, and this is what I want you to bookmark. Let's go back to your um, let's go back to your folder real quick, the bookmarks folder. Let's see the ads manager, hover over it. Um, down there, that pixel, go ahead and um go ahead and because you go ahead and and can you delete that one? Or actually, you know what? Click on it, go ahead and click on it. And I'm gonna have you just um well it's it's starred already. It's starred. That's fine. Leave it starred. Okay, perfect. So then okay, it was just a different letter, different um um link at the top, but it's the same. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're good here. Okay, so now here's what we gotta do. This is where our pixel is at, and it's already bookmarked. You can see the blue star at the top right. It's already bookmarked. So this is your pixel. So now all we're gonna do, all we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add events at the bottom. Add events, add drop down, add events right there to the left. Add events. How come I don't see it? It's right above pixel conversion API. 
Oh, okay. 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 So okay. click on that. So this is your pixel. This is where you get your pixel from. So you're going to click on from a new website. Okay. And then install code manually. Click on that blue button, install code manually, and then copy code. The green one. Is this the code? No, the green one. Oh, Click on that yeah. green button. Okay. So now hit continue. And then this, make sure that this is always all blue, which it is, and then just hit continue. Hit continue and then X out. So hit continue and then go to an X out of this little square here. Okay, perfect. So now we copied our pixel. So just so we don't, so I'm not confusing myself. What we're doing here is just integrating the domain onto Kartra and then adding our pixel um, onto Kartra as well. And then that's what's, that's what's going to allow us to add everything else in the future for the ads manager. So let's let's just focus on, on the pixel for right now. So now let's go to Kartra and then let's refresh. Let's see if um, you can close out the business settings. Close out the business settings and just um, leave open, open events manager. Perfect. Refresh this page right here. Let's see if our domain is connected now, which it should be. Yay. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. So now every page inside of Kartra that we create is going to be that. Realtor.com forward slash seller guide. Oh, right? Yay. So, yeah. So, so, and that's the name that you can start branding. You know, you can start putting that link everywhere. That, that's, that's the new link. So now what we're going to do is we have to now let... Slash seller's guide? No, you're not going to do it here. Now, what you no. did here, what we did here is we gave we gave permission for Kartra to do whatever the heck they want with that domain. And what whatever oh, the heck good. they want is allow you to create as many pages around that name. Perfect. So, well, that's good since that's my branding name. Yes, yes, that's really, really good. So now here's what we're going to do. We have to go into my pages and we have to put that pixel on our pages. And so this is the only upfront you know, manual part that we'll have to do is we'll have to, we'll have to make sure that the pixel is on all these pages. So there's seven of them. So, mm -hmm. um, but it's all the same. It's all the same, the same process. So I'll show you how to do it. Um, and we could take the time and do all of them right now, or you can just get back to all of them later, but I'm going to show you exactly yeah, how to do it. Well, if I know exactly how to do it and I'll write down instructions if I need Well, to. I'm recording this for you. So don't worry. I'll, I'll send you the recording. Okay. But Here's here's how we do it. So all I'm we're gonna do any recordings yet though. Have you been sending me any? Yeah, you should have got them. I haven't gotten anything. No recordings. I'll I'll I'll, I'll take a look at my email then. All right, I'll and I'll look in my spam. I'll okay. look in my spam. Oh. Okay. Okay. So now let's let's just go one page at a time, and we can go top to bottom, or we could just go, you know, exactly the way the way we the way. Let's just start with the let let let's go from the, let's go from the top to the bottom. Email sequence two. Click on that. Click on okay. the dots and go into the edit. Edit. Okay. So this is this is exactly how you add the pixel on every page. Click on the green one. Edit. Okay, so the two things that I do right away, right when I come into a new page, is I click on settings, and I'm going to change the title of the tab. If you see these these tabs that you have open at the very very top, there's titles. So you this have like a, email sequence too. Well, click on that SEO parameters. Click on SEO parameters. So this is this is number one. This is number one thing that I do right away when I come into a new page, okay. that page title is the name in the tab. So if you look at your tabs that you have open right now, what do you have open? You have GoDaddy, you have Kartra, you have the business settings, you have a Zoom tab, you have a Gmail tab, right? Right. What are the titles? In the Gmail, you have Zoom in one hour. Right. Or the Zoom one, you have David Cantero's personal, right? Those are the titles of the tab. Okay. Well, your page okay. has a title as well. So the very first thing I'll do is I'll make sure that that title matches up to what that page is because that okay. title, that, that title is what the public sees okay. when they're on the page, you know, and this is the page that is schedule your call now. Well, that's what I would put because this is a page that you'll eventually put in your emails, right? This is just a single page that you could put an email oh. number for. 
Hey, John, this is Christine. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, hopefully you took a look at that seller guide I sent you a few days ago. Hey, I'm breaking down tip number seven on how I consult my clients on selling their property. Take a look at this video that I just did. Click here. Okay. Like that, that would be a simple email. And when they click, they come to this page. Okay. And so Sounds what's my objective on this page? It's not just to show them a video for the hell of it. Like there's a call to action, right? There's a call to action. I might be giving them tip number seven in this video. This is email number seven, for example, after they downloaded my seller guide, mm -hmm. I might be giving them tip number seven. And that's what I'm talking about in this short two minute video. But at the end of that video, there's a call to action. At the end of the video, I'm telling them, hey, man, if you'd like to jump on a call, click the yellow button. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Right. So that's the call to action in every email. That's the call to action in all these video emails. If you start to set, you know, set these videos up and that's what I want them to see when they're on the page. Schedule okay. your call now. Right. 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 That's the call that to action. Sense. Yeah. Or, or I can simply maybe not be so aggressive or maybe not be so blunt or maybe not be so out spoken that way, schedule your call now. And maybe I could just put the title. I could just make it tip number seven. Right. And I can just maybe make it short because that title it's short and, and, and just, just brief. Like you, you don't want to write a sentence there. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, for, it's for the title. It's for the tab, like Kartra, you have the title of the word Kartra right at the top of this tab. Right. Yeah. So, so it's short and sweet and, and very, you know, to the point. So I could easily put the tip right there. Like I could have easily put your marketing plan because uh -huh. this page and this video pertains to the marketing plan. And that's what they see in the tab, the title. But again, me, I, I, I would just put some type of call to action, schedule your call now, right? That, that's like what that. I would do, you know? Yeah, I like that. So, so, so number one, when I come into a new page, I check the page title because that's what the general public is going to see. Now, the second thing I do, go ahead and hit the, the arrow to the left, hit that back arrow at the top, SEO parameters. Page title. I just want to make sure I have that on here. Okay, now go what? So, go, so back. go back, hit the SEO parameters, hit that left arrow to the left, Okay. right where it says SEO parameters. So let's go back right there. Perfect. Now that's number one. I check the title. Number two, I add my pixel. So tracking code right there. And I scroll to the very, very bottom where I see Facebook ads. So go ahead and click inside that box down and paste in your pixel. This is your Facebook pixel. So click uh -huh. apply. And anytime I do anything in any of these sections to the left, you always click that green button, always apply. Okay. okay. So, so now our pixel is on this page. So go ahead and so let so let's go ahead and exit it. Let's go ahead and exit it. So hit the um hit the actions, the green button at the top to the right. There's three. So, it's a three okay. click exit. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I you need to tell me where I go to get this pixel code, or I guess I could put it in my notes or something. Well, I just showed you in the ads manager, but again, I'll have the, this is recording so you could play it back. Okay. But but it's even easier than that. Because now all you have to do is come back to one of your pages, this page, for example, oh, and yeah, copy that. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Copy that whole thing just and make sure you copy the whole thing because it's pretty long. Right. Like you take your cursor, watch, put your cursor yeah. in there and just go ahead and look at the whole damn thing. Oh, yeah. it, there's yeah, a, yeah. Lot of, a lot of characters in there, you know? Okay. So, so just make sure you copy the whole thing I, exactly. And then you could just simply paste it on the next page. So okay. in fact, let's yeah. practice that. Copy the whole damn thing. Copy the whole mm -hmm. thing. We're going to go put it on, on another page right now. And what you can do is just double click right there, right there in the box, double click. If you double click, it should, it should highlight the whole thing. I did. Or that way. So copy it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, now when you exit a Kartra page, there's three clicks. So, so it's, it, so hold on, don't click on anything. So right yeah. here. There's a three click exit. You're going to hit the green button and you're going to save progress. That's click number one. Okay. And then the second click is going to be publish live X out of that. And then click the green button again. And the second click is publish live. You're going to let this publish live. And right when you publish live, 
here's where you change your link. So click on get the page link. Now that we have our domain integrated with Kartra, because prior to the integration of our domain, that was our long, ugly link. Now right. we can customize it, which we customize it to read email number one, email one, but we still have that long, ugly link. So now what we want to do is we want to hit the pencil to the right, click on the edit, and then hit the drop down. So right there to the left, you'll see the drop down. Now choose your domain. Oh. Now everything is going to be is going to evolve around your domain. So yeah. this could be email number one. This could be strategy number seven or tip number seven. You can kind of start customizing the back end, the forward slash, yeah. depending on what page that is. They don't see this, but this is this is just the back end. No, the, they do see that. They do see that. They see email one. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't leave it email one, you know, right, later right, on, right. go ahead and change it. So whatever you're talking about in that video, that's what that should be. Okay. So if you're talking about, you know, curb appeal, you're talking about new paint, you're talking about interior paint, you're talking about remodeling your kitchen, whatever the hell it may be, without without mm -hmm. it being too long, that's what that should be. So so if I was okay. talking about how important it is for your for you to remodel your kitchen, I'll put forward slash kitchen remodel mm -hmm. right and, and right. now would be the link short descriptive and and what the video pertains to okay you know so wow. that's this and, well, and then yeah i have to have this video this uh video you're making yeah yeah for there. sure for sure so hit the green check and and save it so now this becomes the new the new mm -hmm. link that check to the right you gotta save it first no 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 no, no. down oh. the check mark Oh, I see it now. Okay, so now copy that link. Every time you do this, again, what do we do? We clicked on the green button in the top right. We save progress. Number right. two, we publish live, and then we change out the link. So copy that link. Whenever you change out that link, copy it. Go ahead and copy the link. Oh, copy it now? Yeah, copy the link. Yeah. All right, even though it says email one right now, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, that's fine. You'll change it later. Just go ahead and copy it. And then open up a new tab and let Facebook read it for the first time. So now the pixel is on the page. Facebook is now getting ready to read it for the first time. So go ahead and paste it in and open up that page. What do you want me to open? Just paste in the link. Paste it in. Oh, over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, paste it and then just open it up. So hit enter. Okay, so now oh, Facebook yeah. just read it for the first time. Okay. And that, so after the slash, whatever my page is that I put it after the slash, that's the page that's going to come up. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So every page in Kartra, you'll add the pixel and then you'll customize the forward slash. Okay. And everything is around that domain, Austin's Boutique Realtor. Wow. Okay. Cool. So that's how you, that's how you, that's how you add the pixel and that's how you, um, add your domain and that's how you customize all these links moving forward that is so cool